everybody. This is part two of my report from Dallas, Texas at the Hot Wheels Nationals Convention. Part one was opening the two models you see right now, the 66 Supernova and the 83 Silverado. Those are the two convention models. It's time to open the dinner model and the RLC model. Before we get to that, part three will be coming up later tonight. I will post the finale model. It's a beauty but I won't uh, post that until it's been unveiled, so that will come up tonight, so pay attention. I will also be posting the Hot Wheels sneak peek presentation. They've got a lot to show, a lot of slides to show. I will be filming that, and I will get that up as well. So those will go up probably very in very similar time sometime tonight, so be prepared for that. All right, let's get on to the next two models, and let's get to this thing. Have you ever seen this before? You probably haven't because it's brand new. There was that prototype on the RLC. We could talk about that another time. The dinner, as I've talked about in the convention showcase that I did a week or so ago, the dinner is always on Thursday night. It usually honors someone affiliated with Hot Wheels, usually a designer. And in this case, it was Phil Reelman who designed this brand new Volkswagen T1 Rockster. Steve Vandervate did the design, and then Julian Coyles did the artwork, but you know that. All right, let me show you what this is from the numbers here. 4,000 made, 846, that's the number on this one. These, well, sometimes you'll see a sticker on this, and that will be because that was given to the attendees. I did not attend, so I, I acquired this afterwards, so it doesn't have the sticker. Plus, why would I want the sticker? Because I'm opening it up. I would keep it if it had the uh, sticker. I'd keep it uh, sealed up. Anyway, Phil, you know from the... Uh, VW drag bus, among many, many, many models. Um, for you JDM fans, he did the R34 Skyline. Get that out of the way. But this is a brand new model, so you're not only looking at the dinner model, but you are looking at a brand new casting from Hot Wheels. Very, very nice, if I do say so myself. Now, the one thing you don't, I can't show you, is how heavy it is. Um, metal base. Look at the shocks are detailed. This will be in the RLC as well, so you RLC members. Um, be ready for that. I don't know when that's going to go on sale, but they're previewing it here at the event. Cool uh, rear. You see the deco. You see the... Um, Convention information on the back, you see a cool license plate honoring Phil. And then, oh man, I'm trying to I'm trying to take in the fact that it's the dinner model and that it is a, a brand new casting. So I'm this is the first time I'm really looking at it and getting all the details. So, but this is a very, very cool model. I'm imagining we will never see this in the main line just because of the multitude of pieces. You can see it has a real rider, rider spare tire. So they'd have to really modify this for the main line. But a lot of the of Phil's big Premium models never make it to the main line. They don't need to um, because they're reserved for premium. So I I'm sure we'll see a lot of this very, very cool off-road behemoth um, in future premium lines. Cool, right? Yeah. Let's get on with this. This, you know what this is. This is the 71 Datsun 510. It is the RLC Club exclusive. It is in pink. Let's see if there's some details. Well, there's some details about the casting. You can read all of that. The RLC, they, some call it the party model. Um, it's now, I'd call it the RLC exclusive. This is available to convention attendees who are also RLC members. They have the opportunity to purchase this model. Um, there's the artwork right here. So if you're here attending and you're not an RLC model, RLC member, it's not available to you. There was 5,000 made. This is number 1360. All right, should we open this one up? Of course we should. Once again, kind of, they used to be in baggies, but now they're doing them on cards. Uh, if you're opening, if you're an opener, it doesn't matter at all, right? But um, I like this anyway. If I, I think they're easier to display in a baggie. They can't even get the details of the car because it's kind of usually a foggy baggie. All right, there you go. Everything you'd see a hot pink Datsun 510? Well, now you have. This is the opening hood version. Um, white interior, not much to talk about this one, so I'll just let it roll a couple of times because you know the Datsun 510 
Now you can just take in a hot pink Datsun 510, right? Yeah, that is pretty cool. Okay. There you go. There are the two, two more convention models. One more to show you from Mattel. Obviously, this is the T1 Rockster, and then we have the 510 Datsun. Right? So one more, the finale model to show you coming tonight. It's a doozy. It'll get collectors pretty excited. Uh, that will come tonight. All right, everybody. More to come. Bye.